we, cle we clearly are still in a pandemic. And that's the one thing that I've been like wrestling with is like, you know, since the pandemic started, um, I, there's been a moment that we've had to really reckon and interrogate like, okay, there's been, there are these questions or there's these things that have been, that we haven't actually reckoned with. And one of them for me was, how come I have not been incorporating dance more in my life? You know, and for me, that is, that's been real. Like, I, I think I made, I felt like it was not professional. I think like colleagues had made me feel like that dance right. was not, that right. dance was not going to be the right way to organize or engage people. And yep. so I literally blocked it out. I literally rationalized doing all these other things, going to happy hours in my suits. And that's not me. Like, right. I'm not, I'm not Steffi wearing a, a suit and tie all the time. Like, even when I have to wear a suit, I have to wear it with a bamboo, like a bamboo. Right, or you do a little, what do they call a, a little cumber? A, a little <laughs> color, a little something, something. And the pandemic has really forced me to say, look, like, you really have to, like, think about how much dance is such a central part to you. So I'm going to give a shout out to my friend Kim Moore, because one thing she tells me, or she told me all the time was like, seeing you on the dance floor, seeing you on the stage, you are the most free. You like it's the, it's the It's the time where you don't think about anything. You just kind of just give, you, you put your heart and your spirit and your soul into mm -hmm. dance. And I really had to hold that. And so I have, I am now integrating dance and music in my Zooms, even yep. like in my own people love it. life. Yeah, people um, love that. 